Hi, good afternoon. This is Doc Rojo again. Yesterday I did a presentation about heartburn. And since I did the presentation, I was thinking, and there are a few key things that I was thinking about adding, and that's what this presentation is about today. So first of all, if you're having a lot, a lot, a lot of heartburn, and you're not able to get relief or resolution through simple uh, dietary changes, it could be a sign of something more serious. So please go see your physician and work it out with them. And of course, everything that I talk about in these presentations is educational only, because obviously it's impossible for me to reach through the camera and do a hands-on examination of all y'all out there. <laughs> anyway, so another key point is in the evening time, one of the key ideas with heartburn is not to eat within two or three hours before going to bed. And also, depending on how severe the heartburn is, to raise the entire head of the bed by about 30 degrees. Now, this is not just simply grabbing some pillows and getting yourself all crunched up, because that might be helpful for about 10 minutes, but in the middle of the night when you throw the pillows all around, you're gonna end up in weird positions probably. But the idea is it's very anatomical. So our model again, I've already moved the heart and lungs and the liver just so that I could demonstrate where the stomach and the uh, entrance to the stomach is sitting there. And as mentioned yesterday, the esophagus goes down and it takes a turn over to where the en entrance to the stomach is. So if you, for example, lie on this side, you're emptying the flask and you are likely to get more acid uh, splashing down from the stomach and up the esophagus into the model. And if you lie on this side, it can be potentially a little bit protective only because of the anatomy of how that fluid is being kept inside the flask of the stomach there. Similarly, uh, thinking of the anatomy and where the entrance uh, and exit to the stomach are, when you're lying flat, well, guess what? All that stomach acid has a chance to spill out and into the esophagus, and if you've got a, a loose uh, muscle, we call it the lower esophageal sphincter, is the name of the muscle right there that holds things shut. Well, if you're uh, lying flat, then it's more likely for that acid to splash down, which is the reason why we recommend raising the entire head of the bed by about 30 degrees, because what that does is it just repositions the stomach a little bit and just makes it a little bit more likely to, for the food and the fluid to stay inside the stomach rather than splashing up there. So again, um, lying flat, the stomach can dump its contents up the esophagus. Tilting up a little bit, about 30 degrees or so, allows the content to stay more in the stomach than up and down. Next, let me just get rid of my model a second there. So next, a couple other warning signs. If you do start to find that you're having severe pain in the stomach, especially if it's shooting straight back through you, or if you're having a lot of um, heartburn symptoms up in this area, please do get checked out uh, by a physician. Uh, occasionally, when people are having a heart attack, they mistakenly think they're having heartburn, and so they reach for the Tums rather than calling 911. So please uh, read about the signs and symptoms of heart disease and heart attacks just to make sure that when you're taking care of yourself, you're not accidentally postponing something that's a little bit more important uh, as well. And finally, if you do get uh, where you're vomiting uh, coffee ground stuff, occasionally people have not just the heart burn, but also a stomach ulcer. And that's where the lining of the stomach is kind of worn away. And sometimes it can wear into an area where there's a blood vessel and can actually bleed. So if there's a bleeding stomach ulcer, one side of that, besides severe pain, is sometimes getting uh, some coffee ground looking stuff and uh, vomiting that up. And basically, that would be an emergency sign because if anything is bleeding inside the stomach uh, or the intestines, that can go uh, not very well very quickly. And so please, if you have any of those symptoms, uh, make sure you go to the emergency room. All right, now finally, I do have uh, one little thing that I think you might enjoy as well. This is a little bit of a health tonic that can be very helpful for reducing heartburn as well as some diarrhea as well and can be helpful for opening up the sinuses as well. So my three ingredients are starting off with a glass of plain old water. I 
have a 16 ounce glass of water to be more specific. Uh, I've got a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Now this is a particular brand that happens to have an unpasteurized mother. It's got a um, a little bit of what you sometimes call debris at the bottom. That's what they call the mother of the apple cider vinegar. That actually contains some uh, bacteria that are very good to have at a low pH and are helpful for the stomach. So what I do with this is uh, the recommendation is for about a teaspoon and a glass of water. So I'm just kind of putting a splash of that in my um, water. So now it's uh, might notice just a little tiny bit cloudy. And I'm going to mix in there a little bit of lemon juice. And the lemon juice is nice because it will add a little extra flavor to the water as well as some acid uh, that is going to be helpful for maintaining a proper pH of the stomach itself. And finally, for fun and also because I've seen some research that shows that cayenne pepper stimulates the stomach to secrete more of its protective um, mucus lining is cayenne pepper. Now, both the vinegar and the cayenne pepper, I'm just adding a pinch of that here, both the cayenne pepper as well as the uh, vinegar also have many studies showing that they're helpful for uh, weight loss as well. And the very simple act of drinking a tall glass of water prior to meals, um, if it's done about 30 minutes prior to meals, it actually helps to, thank you, it actually helps to um, stir that up a little bit there. It actually helps to uh, fill the stomach so that people aren't overeating at the time of the meal. And so if you drink a cup or two of water about 30 minutes before meals, that alone has also been, by the way, able to help with uh, about 10 pounds of weight loss over time. So I'm told in the studies. Anyway, so. Uh, Enjoy, cheers. If you do this first thing in the morning, you'll find it's helpful for the sinuses and it helps get you rehyd and re rehydrated and ready to start the day. And sometimes it can also trigger a bowel movement uh, within a little while. So, cheers. Very good, take care.